Okay, we are working on Grade 4, Module 5, Lesson 3. So starting with Question 1, decompose each fraction modeled by a tape diagram as a sum of unit fractions. Write the equivalent multiplication sentence. The first one has been done for you. So in Question 1, letter A, we can see that one whole is three parts. Three parts. And in that, there are two shaded parts, two-thirds. And as a sum of unit fractions, that is one-third plus one-third equals two-thirds. As a multiplication sentence, we also know that it, that is the same as two-thirds equals two times one-third. We have two sets of one-third. For letter B, one whole is now made out of fourths, and we have one, two, three fourths. So as a um, sum of unit fractions, we have three fourths equals one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. And that is the equivalent to three fourths equals three times one fourth. That is the multiplication sentence. For letter C, we have one, two, three, four, five pieces, and four of those are shaded. So four fifths equals one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth. And that also means four fifths equals four times one fifth. And for letter D, we now have six pieces, and five of those are shaded. So we have five sixths equals one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth is five sixths. And that is also equal to five sixths equals five times one sixth. All right, starting with question two. Write the following fractions greater than one as the sum of two products. So here we can see we have four pieces and it takes three pieces to make one whole. So we have four thirds. And four thirds equals, for the entire one, we have one third plus one third plus one third. And that gives us this. And we have one more third. So as a sum of two products, that would be 4 thirds equals 3 times 1 third plus 1 times 1 third. Below that, we have another piece, and one whole is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we have 8 total pieces. So 8 sixths is equivalent to 6 times 1 sixth plus two times one sixth. And moving on to number three, draw a tape diagram and record the given fractions decomposition into unit fractions as a multiplication sentence. So we start off and we have one and one is divided up into five pieces and three of those are shaded. So we have three fifths equals one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth. And so we know three fifths equals three times one fifth. For three eighths, we have eight pieces, and of those three are shaded. So we have three eighths equals one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth, or three eighths equals three times one eighth. For five ninths, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and five of those are shaded. So we have five ninths equals one ninth plus one 
ninth plus one ninth plus one ninth plus one ninth and five ninths equals five times one ninth. So now we have eight fifths. So we divide this into one, two, three, four, five. We also know we have six, seven, eight. And eight of those are shaded. So we have eight fifths equals one fifth plus 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 one fifth. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or eight fifths equals, whoops, eight fifths equals eight times one fifth. And finally, we have 12 fourths. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We know four is one. We have another one and another one. So if we have twelve fourths, that equals one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. That gives us these plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth gives us the following. And then we have plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. So that's actually the equivalent of three. Twelve fourths equals three, but twelve fourths equals twelve times one fourth.